Hello everybody and welcome to my 14th PHP tutorial and this tutorial is going to start going into loops and loops in uh, PHP or any code uh, really kind of fundamental to uh, everything you're doing because uh, they allow you to re repeat code based on certain conditions. Uh, so this is when computers start getting really powerful because they can start repeating operations over and over again um, and they can make your code a lot simpler. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to do a, a quick table that's going to uh, display um, uh, out some uh, numbers onto a screen. So uh, all we need to do to start off with is I'm going to declare a variable uh, and I'm just going to call it x. Uh, and then we put in our loop, so this is a while loop. Uh, so we put while and then we put brackets and in here we have essentially an if statement. Um, and it's going to test whether this if statement runs true. Uh, and if it runs true, it's going to run what's in the curly braces. So uh, I'm going to put in uh, dollar $x is less than or equal to 5 uh, and I'm going to uh, put dollar $x equal to 1 to start off with uh, and then in here I want to put in what I'm going to do so I'm going to echo out uh, x is x equals and then dot and then dollar x so this is going to display the value of x and I'm going to put a break so open bracket slash break and then uh, semicolon uh, and then I'm just going to increment the value of x by 1 so plus plus uh, and so what this is going to do uh, is it's going to first of all set our variable equal to 1 and then it's going to test whether or not our variable is less than or equal to 5 uh, which it's going to be uh, so it will run it, it will write it out onto the screen with a break and then it will add 1 to the value and then when it gets down to this last curly brace it's going to go back up to the top again uh, and it's going to run our loop once more uh, so it's then the value of x will be 2 so it will run through again so it will do it again it will go through add it value will be 3 it will get to the end and then it will go back up to the top and it will keep going until the first time that this statement runs false so let's bring across our website and press refresh and you see x equals 1 2 3 4 5 and then as soon as x equals 6 uh, it jumps off and comes back down here. So let's put in a echo x must equal 6 because we have stopped looping. Uh, and let's not say equal 6, let's say must uh, be greater than 5 because we've stopped looping. And then, so let's refresh here, and then x must be greater than 5 because we stopped looping. So once that comes false, it comes down here, uh, and it runs whatever's down here. Make sure you've got your semicolon, because uh, else, as soon as we put something else on, it will go wrong. Uh, so that's how you use a while loop. Uh, you can also, uh, you can kind of change it around a bit. Uh, so you can put your while at the end. Uh, and you can put a do at the beginning. Oh, that's not how you write do. <laughs> uh, and then press save. And then what this will do is it'll make sure it runs it at least once. So if we put this as eight and then refresh, and it's not going to work because I've uh, not put a semicolon at the end of it. So put in your semicolon there and then refresh uh, and then it's going to put x equals 8 so even though it's never actually going to run true here it does it 
the very first time. So that can be useful if you always need it to run at least once. Uh, so that's it for while loops. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use for loops. So thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you soon.